time has gone! In June 2023, a highway patrol trooper stopped a vehicle for tailgating. Little did he know, however, that what seemed like an average traffic stop would turn out to be something much bigger. Okay. Well, the reason I got him stopped is because he's falling too close. I'm not going to issue him a citation. They're just going to be a warning. Okay. All right. The trooper was very calm about the interaction, asking the woman about her work and why she was traveling. But while her record looked clear, things got a little more complicated when he inquired about the two men in front of her. Having no idea who they were, the trooper went back to his vehicle to run their passports through the system. When he returned, though, he was accompanied by Border Patrol. These people were about to get arrested. It turns out the trooper had just caught a big fish in the form of Ida Nilsson Velasquez Larin, who's a notorious MS-13 gang leader. He was charged with ordering murders, drug distribution and money laundering. In a lot of places, going out at night means you're going straight into the lion's den because gangs reign supreme and the authorities don't have the power to stop them either. Watch as gang members casually walk up to a man minding his own business and rob him while everyone else goes about their business like it's nothing. That said, turning a blind eye to the situation doesn't mean the thugs will let these people off the hook. They've got unlimited time to raid the store, going person to person and collecting wallets. As for the poor patrons, they're utterly helpless. What's especially heart-wrenching, however, is the way the gang members escape without even a hint of resistance. The sheriff may run the LA County jails, but it's the Mexican mafia that has the real power in the underworld that festers behind these bars jails indictment, which outlines a criminal enterprise run by the Mexican Mafia that controlled drug trafficking and extortion activities throughout the LA County jail system. The quote-unquote Mafia was made up of leaders from different gangs who operated like an illegal government within these jails, smuggling drugs and assaulting anyone who didn't fall in line. But what's actually crazy is the method they used for their operation. The organization would then sell drugs to inmates. The Mexican Mafia had a range of supporters that participated in the racketeering enterprise. The gang leaders would relay orders using wives, girlfriends, and even lawyers, getting lower-ranked members deliberately arrested on minor charges so that they could act as drug mules and keep the operation running. And there were people who passed messages directing criminal activities between those in the jail and gang leaders on the streets. Over 80 people were arrested on various charges in 2018, with another 13 getting charged in 2024. But here's the frightening reality. Despite these arrests, the prison-based syndicate is still operational to this day. The wives and girlfriends were not the only link to the outside world. This morning, we also arrested a lawyer who is accused of being a key facilitator for the organization. In November 2020, a couple walked into a restaurant acting as regular customers, but they weren't there for a meal. They were going to rob the place. What was truly bizarre about this robbery was the fact that the man had a gun pointed at the manager, and yet none of the customers had any clue about the hell that was about to descend upon them as they ate their meals in peace. It all looked a little too easy for the couple as they cleaned out the cash register, made everyone leave the kitchen, and then proceeded to point their guns at the customers without any resistance. But that's not even the most fascinating part because once they had looted everyone, it was time for their escape. With their plan, it wouldn't have been difficult for security personnel to stop them from speeding off.
On a Mexican highway near Reynosa, a truck driver slowly approaches what looks like a regular police checkpoint, but little does he know that he's about to drive straight into a trap. It's no ordinary checkpoint, it's a roadblock set by a Mexican gang, and they're not just standing there to inspect people, their goals are much more sinister, and the truck driver's about to find that out the hard way. They're openly stopping people on a highway and robbing them with no resistance from law enforcement. What's even worse is that the truck driver's wallet isn't enough and the gangsters want more from him. They go through all his belongings and take his watch before handing him his empty wallet. What follows next, however, is perhaps even more fascinating as another truck approaches the checkpoint from the other side. witness an extraordinary encounter as a live streamer walks around town when he's interrupted by a strange woman. Called. Is that a camera? Yeah, it's a camera. What are you doing there with that camera? I'm live streaming. Uh, what does that mean? I'm streaming uh, to the internet. What starts as a polite exchange slowly devolves into bizarre territory because the woman keeps asking him nonsensical questions about the area and when he says he doesn't understand what she's saying, things take a dark turn. Uh, I've always been here and always stay here. Not even South and North Korea can um, join. No, I'm not, I'm not sure what the answer is. MS God! It all gets a little too real when the woman starts shouting MS-13 gang slogans at the streamer. She thinks he's a Korean guy trying to stake claim to Koreatown, which, according to her, is MS-13 territory. MS-13, oh. baby! Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my territory. She Korean <laughs> Bali Bali. Oh, sh Okay, I'm not Korean. Over in El Paso, Texas, people have been seeing the rise of Edgars, who are young Latinos acting like thugs to appear more intimidating. But while they think they own the streets, things don't always go their way. Cops raided a house party full of these thugs after the locals reported it. But while house party raids are usually a pretty routine affair, things get a little aggressive with these folks since they refuse to comply. It's utter mayhem as the police surround the neighborhood and start rounding people up. That said, while detaining these folks is usually easy, some make a run for it, making things complicated for the officers. Sometimes, ordinary people can put gang members in their place too. Throw it, amigo. I didn't throw it. It broke by itself. No. no. Was two. You I... come back like uh, 20 minutes. Not the same time. A couple of Mexican gang members were shopping at a liquor store when they accidentally dropped an entire case of beers near the entrance. Now, most people would let that slide, considering the guys who did it. But this store owner is cut from a different cloth. They, they, they just broke by itself in the bottom. Yeah. Now, Two things oh. broken! Okay. Two yeah, amigo. He knows his life is in danger because we've seen these folks pull out their guns in these situations before. And yet, he tells them to get out of his shop, a decision he might regret. Bottom and it fell by itself. I tried to bring Come, it to okay. you. Okay, Gato, go back up. Gato, Gato. He's saying, he's saying. If that's not bold enough, wait for what the shopkeeper has in store for them when they try to calm the situation down. I do you do it! Stop. In the bottom, Who clean Who clean? He's definitely got a target on his back now. The gangsters aren't always the bad guys in a situation though. For instance, this cyclist recklessly jumps around on his BMX without seeing what's in front, and he'll regret his behavior because he's about to run into a gang member. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Relax, bro. Oh, my bad, bro. I was jumping off of this. Total accident, dude. Sorry about that. The cyclist comes within inches of hitting the gang member and his child. But while his apology seems to have convinced the gangster to let him off the hook, he's not actually in the green yet because, in an extremely stupid move, the cyclist makes the same move again. He's playing with fire. 
In March 2022, employees at a camera store were going about their day when they experienced something truly traumatizing, a gang of armed men showing up at their doorstep. With an automated door and security at the shop, you'd think the store employees had things covered, but the truth is they never stood a chance because these were no ordinary robbers. These people had a plan, telling the security guard that they were customers before pulling their guns out and derailing the front gate, not to mention the second line of men, ready to shoot anyone who even tried to attempt anything drastic. With two cars and over 10 men, they never faced any resistance. What's more, it just took them four minutes to get in, steal everything and escape, pulling off one of the most daring heists ever witnessed. Picture this, you're awoken by a strange noise in the middle of the night and when you go outside to see what's happening, you stumble upon three men stealing your car's catalytic converter. What do you do in that situation? Look at these pieces of shits. The situation is extremely unfortunate because despite catching the thieves red-handed, the man can't actually do anything other than yell at them. After all, what if they've got a gun on them? What are you gonna do? Yeah. All right, mate. Have a nice evening. Piece of sh. What's terrifying, however, is the thieves' attitude. They don't even care about the man's presence. In fact, the way they escape the scene is downright disrespectful, shoving the man's helplessness in his face. We're in the middle. Some gang members think they own the road, and when something doesn't go their way, they resort to road rage. The thug has been brake checking the dashcam driver for a while and isn't letting him pass through either, not to mention that he threatens the driver, who's not intimidated by the thug's antics one bit. The driver may have made a mistake by overtaking the thug and hurting his ego because now he's out for revenge. But as the thug and his girlfriend attempt to slash the car's tires, they're in for a very nasty surprise. They deserved that pepper spray. In July 2020, three masked men walked into a Houston electronics store and aimed their guns at the employees, telling them to get on the ground and surrender. With the employees not even getting the chance to call 911, the robbers had free reign over the entire store, walking around casually and choosing things to steal, almost as if it was a fire sale. Once the robbers were done shopping around, it was time for them to get away. And to no one's surprise, they didn't face any resistance while doing that either. Sometimes, even a busy street isn't enough to stop armed robberies. In July 2022, for instance, two men drove up to a convenience store on a motorbike and started threatening the shop owner and the customers. With traffic outside and people witnessing the heist, you'd think the authorities would be privy to what was happening. Yet again, it was all too easy for the robbers as they walked around the shop collecting cash from everyone. What's even more mind-boggling is the fact that the rider was waiting for the robbers outside and no one stepped up to stop him. Not to mention, it's the way the robbers operate so openly that makes them scary.
Speaking of scary stuff, some robbers are so confident that they don't even need to wear masks to hide their identity. And the cashier at a San Jose store experienced that firsthand on the night of January 25th, 2019. The two men walked into the shop wearing plain clothes, acting as if they wanted to buy alcohol. But as the cashier walked behind the counter to help them, things took a darker turn. With a gun pointed at him, the cashier had no choice but to open the register and hand them the cash. However, their demands started to get weird when they asked him to look under the cash register. Under the cash register. Under the cash register. Under the cash register. Pick it up. Pick the cash register. Pick the cash register. Yeah, the hundreds. The hundreds. The robbers were clearly out of their minds because they didn't even pick up the leftover cash from the register. Instead, they went ahead and made another peculiar demand from the cashier. In February 2024, a Texas state trooper conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle containing an illegal immigrant and an MS-13 gang member wanted for human smuggling. But right as he was about to make the arrest, they took off. Come on, dude. Go, 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 go. The suspects led the troopers on a high-speed pursuit, driving through the highway for several minutes and refusing to pull over. Thanks to the troopers' persistence, however, the suspects were forced to do something drastic. They drove off Route 90 and crashed into a ranch fence, after which they had to bail out and run on foot. But while catching them now would have been nigh impossible for the troopers, they had something in their arsenal that would give them the upper hand, a helicopter. All right, you get you know, that guy in the pants, shirt, or sweater, that's the driver. And we got eyes on the, on the three right now. Which hand are you back? They were handed over to Border Patrol and charged with evading arrest and smuggling of persons. Surveillance footage shows two men walking up to a gas station at 3 a.m., asking the employee to open up. Thinking they were customers, he unlocks the door for them, which, in retrospect, is a massive mistake. Before they even step into the store, the men block the door with a bottle to prevent it from locking, not to mention the clothes they use to hide their face. And at this point, we all know what's about to happen. While one man points his gun and tells the cashier to open the cash register, his partner is busy picking up other stuff, including entire racks of lottery tickets. Once the robbers have what they want, it's the easiest escape in the world. There's no one stopping them, and they've got a car waiting for them outside. Gang culture doesn't just exist for adults. In fact, most gangsters choose this life when they're mere teenagers, threatening other kids around the block and building up their street cred. I can't put hands on him. You know what I said? He's a fake strap. Come on, Lonnie. Let's go, nigga. Put your hands on him. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ain't no one jumping in. Everyone back the up. Back up. This may look like an average school altercation between two kids, but there's more to it than that. Actual gangs back some of these teenagers, and there's no playful nature to this feud. The scary part is that when things get out of hand between the kids, the adults decide to step in, which is when the real violence starts. In May 2024, a businessman was making his way through a rough part of town in his truck when he spotted two motorbikes following him. But even though he tried taking evasive action, Lady Luck wasn't on his side.
There was no speeding away from the motorbikes in the narrow streets, and by the time he hit the accelerator, he already had a gun pointed at him. He'd fallen right into their trap, and now he had to pay the price. The surveillance footage shows the distressing sequence of events as the gangsters beat up the poor businessman and steal all his money before making their escape. Over in Colombia, a man paces around in front of a building's reception while talking on his phone. Little does he know, however, that strolling outside is going to cost him dearly because he's being stalked and his life is in danger. A suspicious man walks into the building, keeping a close eye on him, but while he appears to walk inside, he's actually just standing in the parking lot, waiting for the perfect moment to pounce on his victim. It all kicks off as the thief assaults the man from behind and runs away with his phone. As for the poor victim, all he can do is run after the thief, which is always going to be a futile task. Witness an incredibly disturbing scene as two women on a scooter are chased down by four armed men. The women were coming back home from an event when they spotted the goons on motorbikes following them, but before they even had the chance to react, the men swooped in and threatened them with a gun. Not only did the men steal jewellery, cash and documents, but they also assaulted the poor women, leaving them with bruises, scrapes and scratches. The worst part is that not a single police officer was around to help them throughout the chase. In July 2020, two cars pulled up in front of a Chinese supermarket in Argentina and, as soon as the men stepped out of the vehicles, everyone knew what was about to happen. Several gangsters invade the supermarket carrying big guns in their hands and get right to stealing stuff as the poor employees and customers get on the ground and pray for their lives. It's pure mayhem as they line the employees and keep threatening to shoot for no reason. And with no sign of the police anywhere, things could get ugly here real quick. Two men have been following a couple on a bike for a while now, waiting for them to slow down. And once they do, it's the perfect opportunity for the goons to swoop in and rob them at gunpoint. With a gun pointed at them, the couple doesn't resist, leaving their bike alone and letting the goons take it. But while it looks like another successful robbery for the goons, there's more to it than that. It turns out this entire thing was a setup to catch the goons, and the guy on the bike was a policeman in disguise. Armoured trucks carrying cash are meant to be among the most secure vehicles around, yet they keep getting robbed. Most heists involve some risk, but these guys have planned everything to the T as they walk up to the truck, open its door and start stealing without any resistance from the driver. Okay. 
What's even more surprising is the fact that they have enough time to make multiple trips between the truck and the car, carrying bags full of cash. Uber drivers meet all sorts of crazy characters on the job, but sometimes the crazy people aren't even their passengers. Oh, okay, I'm actually behind Target. I'm not too far. What? Um, he's going on the left. He's going on the left. I'm doing a, I'm Uber. The driver is engaged in a conversation with his customer, telling her about his location, when a man who looks like a local gang member walks up to the window to ruin his day. I'm doing a, I'm Uber. Bye. I'm not doing anything, man. Okay. What the f In January 2022, two suspicious men walked into a departmental store, covering their faces with scarves as they entered. Minutes later, the same surveillance camera captured the men casually walking out with something in their hand. However, even though it looked like the easiest theft of their life, they had one big hurdle to cross, the security guard. They had the perfect plan though. One man acted innocent and accidentally bumped into the guard, letting the other man run off with the stolen item without casting any suspicion on himself. This may look like your average motel check-in, but there's something much more sinister going on here. The man is here to rob and assault someone. Can take it for three hours max, it's fifty dollars. The two men are accompanied by two girls who are gonna lure a poor guy over the internet, make him come to their room, and then unleash these two men upon him. What's unfortunate is that their sinister plan worked, and not only that, but they also recorded the victim naked before robbing and assaulting him. And now, the police are using this footage to catch the culprits. It's an average night at a Chinese supermarket in Argentina as people buy groceries, or that's what they thought at least, because things are about to go from a zero to a hundred real quick. Two suspicious men who'd been lurking around the store spring into action, pulling their guns out and threatening to shoot everyone. And once again, there's zero urgency as they ransack the place and steal everyone's wallets. Witness an extraordinary scene from a bakery as an armed man manages to squeeze behind the counter and threaten the employees for cash. However, while you'd expect the robbers to steal cash during a heist, that's not the only thing they take with them. Guess they wanted some cake to celebrate a successful robbery. In March 2020, three men managed to climb into a San Pedro house and initiate an armed robbery. Looking at the surveillance footage, the owner of the house rushed to the front door to lock it. It was a race against time, with the thieves closing in on her. By the time she got to the door, however, it was already too late, and now the thieves had free reign over the entire house. <laughs> <laughs> 